to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now it's time for a very special part of the programme this evening. In a moment, she'll be giving, I think it's her first ever British chat show uh, interview, but first, singing a little French song from a wonderful new album. It is Carla Bruni. And that was, is that Tao on the guitar? That's my friend Tao Fixara Tao on the guitar. On the guitar. What is uh, French for guitar? Is it le guitar? La guitar. Oh, it's there you a go. Girl. So I'm speaking fluently now. Uh, the guy were dancing in the green room for that. Lee's still up. Look at that. Did I make anybody dance? Lee, you were, you were dancing, weren't you? Yeah, I. Uh, were you bust the move first now? What, what moves were you throwing to that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, look, how lovely to have you here. Um, Thank you. And that's from uh, Carla's album, uh, Little French Songs, which is lovely. You have a beautiful voice. <laughs> Thank you, you so much. You have a lovely voice. It's got that such a lovely so quality to it. Um, and, you know, I think we love hearing French sung. It's a, a beautiful language. Over here, certainly, we all think of French as a lovely language. Do you, in France, feel the same way about the English language? We, we, we're, we're, like, so impressed by the English language, especially by English songs, you know? I mean, everyone who's writing a song in France is always listening to all the English, you know... Well, we do... Traditional. We... You have the best. Well, we know. are better, yes. But certainly... <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah. you, but you have... Well, yes, you're good. We are yes, good. you're very good. OK, so you've come over to see us here and perform for us here. Uh, I guess this is uh, one of the first visits you have where you did not get the presidential welcome because, of <laughs> course, uh, as I'm sure you know, Carla is married to Nicolas Sarkozy, the former president of France. <laughs> no more. When you came over previously, it would have been a big uh, security and everything, I guess. Oh, well, yeah. Well, if I came with my husband, of course, you know, it would have been all protocol and security. But when I... You know, when I come on my own, I'd just be, you know, an Italian girl in you London. Could sneak in and out. Ninja. Yes. OK, uh, do you, did you enjoy the presidential experience when it went on, when you had the protocol, or was it kind of... Uh, did you well, feel... No, I did enjoy it, you know, a lot. It was, it was like an honour, you know, and it was important. But it was not very much relied to me. It was just relied to my, you know, to my man. Of course. And I just tried to be next to him, and I just tried to be good for him, guess, and good for my country. But being the first lady, yeah, you have to. There's a certain responsibility that goes with that as well, I guess. You can't, you know... Yeah. You, you can't... Know, you have to be careful. What, what could you not do? A lot. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what things couldn't you do that you missed doing that you could tell us about? Well, you know, I wouldn't wear, like, hot pants on a, you know, state visit, for no, instance. Fair enough. But I didn't miss it. No, no. Was the president allowed to wear hot pants on a state visit? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looked good. <laughs> uh, 
it's uh, you've been together for many years now, and you've just had a well, it was not a just, but a, yeah. a year and a half ago. Months, was yeah, yeah. Wow, congratulations! And this is this is not your first child, of course. No, it's my second child. Wow, so congratulations! Isn't that lovely yes. to have another baby. Thank you. That's so lovely. It is a congratulation, and um, because uh, you know, um, uh, it's a miracle baby for me. Why? Why a miracle, baby? You know, because I'm not so. Young, you know, and you know. You're not so old. No, but not so young, okay, you know. Okay, but that's how lovely you've got a lovely baby. A lovely uh, I know girl. you don't. There aren't many pictures of you. You obviously guard your privacy, and so you must. We found a picture of you with the baby. I hope we can show this. He looks just like the. Your baby looks just like the father. <laughs> there. Uh, what a lovely, what a beautiful baby you have there. <laughs> it's a girl. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, that's an ugly girl. I'll be honest with you. That's a terrible. <laughs> Uh, how, how did you and <laughs> can I ask you how are you and Nicholas first met? Yes, we, well, we met in a very common way. You know, we met in a blind date. Oh really? Not very blind though. I know he was there. I knew really? he was there. So who set you up for the blind date? A, a very good friend of ours, um, you know, in Paris, and my husband just got divorced, and uh, I was alone. I was separated from the father of my child. So he just invited us for dinner and. And it happened. Oh. And, and so, so you knew like that it was a quick thing? It was first sight. Wow. Wow. Well, Mark, we had Mark. He's a good looking young man. He's a single <laughs> man. What advice would you give to Mark? I, he doesn't need advice. Look, he looks so happy. I think he needs advice about his hair. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> do you have any friends? I have many friends in Mark, to you, Mark, would you like many a, friends. Would you be interested in a bit of French Italian, accent? French. I'd, French. I'd love French. I'd love, I'd love a French girl. I'd love French. <laughs> Go. I really would. Yes. <laughs> That's been... <laughs> but actually, though, Carla, I thought you were French, but you're actually Italian, aren't you? I, I was born Italian and I was raised in France wow. since the age of seven, and then I became French when I got married. So, do you still speak Italian? A lot, okay. yeah. To my children and to my mother, to my sisters, yeah. And my poor husband is surrounded by Italians. I had an Italian girlfriend for a while. She was, forgive my French, but f***ing crazy. I she mean, was crazy. Was... Off the scale, but in a great way. Passionate. Too passionate. Too passionate? Yeah, she bit my face once. <laughs> she was a very short girl. I stood up and she was hanging off. She was, I was walking around with her. She was hanging off like that. <laughs> what did you do to her for her to be, bite your face? Just beat your face. Just try to just try face. to love her. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a player. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, when you write songs, some of your songs obviously uh, are, are about things in your life. I know mm -hmm. there's a song on the album which I think is about your relationship with your husband, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, who you call, you, but he's not called Nicholas in the song. He's called Raymond. Why have you changed his name to Raymond? You know, for fun. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, oh, you crazy French. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Well, you know, <laughs> what happened is that there is a very famous French singer in France uh -huh. called Sylvie Vartan, and she made a song called Nicolas. I see. And it was a hit in the 70s, so every time you sing Nicolas, you know, just her songs. You would think of her, so you couldn't right. do a song about Nicolas calling him... So I thought I called him Raymond. Raymond. Which suits him. Okay. <laughs> you call him Raymond at Not, home, Well, now, almost, you know, since I made the song Carl, for fun, Carl. you know. Have you called him Raymond? <laughs> you know what I'm going to say now. <laughs> English questions. Yes. <laughs> well, say well, I will ask you in French. Have you called him Raymond? <laughs> in the bedroom? No. No, no, no c'est pas mal. No, 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 no. I don't no, know Raymond is only for fun, okay. you know, with friends, and, and it's okay. just fun. Uh, and you call him, uh, in the song you call him, you say, Raymond is an atomic bomb, dynamite. Yeah. Sure is. My Ramon. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, has, I'm sure you do. You know, no, but I'm not talking about you know. Well, I didn't think you were. No, but <laughs> yes, what you did. What kind of a person do you think I am? Yeah, no. <laughs> Get your mind out of your pants for a second, Carla. <laughs> what do you mean by dynamite? Then you mean just is it full of energy? It's just yeah. It has so much energy. It's 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 almost crazy. You know I, that. You know. Okay, and uh, this is my favourite line. My Raymond is a pirate, yes. He boards everything as if his life were at stake. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a sort of funny translation, though. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Blame the translation. <laughs> uh, would you 
want to get into politics yourself? Never, 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 never. It's not my job. You know, I'm an artist and uh, I'm far too sensitive and not strong enough. I mean, I was good enough to be next to him and to bring the appearance and to represent my country, but I would never be a good politician. You know, it's a, it's a job. It's a passion. Yeah. Does he love your music as well? Does he come to concerts? Does he, I mean, he obviously supports you, but is he a fan as well? He, he, uh, mm, I think he's a, I think he's a fan. He's not, he's, he, you know, he likes French songs, classic old French songs. So more old fashioned songs right. than yours? Uh, and uh, what about uh, Charles Aznavour? Does he like oh, Charles Aznavour? I love Charles Well, Aznavour. I love Charles Aznavour too. Love Charles Aznavour. Now listen, there's a Charles Aznavour song where he goes, <clears throat> We live alone, my mum and me. This is the English version. Okay. Je vis tout seul avec maman dans un très vieil appartement. In all my... Okay, so what's that actually in English? That bit you were singing. I live alone with my mother. Yes. Dans un très vieil appartement, in a very old apartment, ah. rue Saint Nazaire, in a street. Of okay. Paris. Well, then I've been sold a wrong one because I've got the album in English, and in Why English. Why do you have the album in English? Because I'm English, and ah. the English. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, but the English translation, it goes, we live... I'm not making this up. I don't think, anyway. It goes, we live alone, my mum and me, a dog, a cat, a parakeet in all my mother. <laughs> yeah. A dog, but a cat, a parakeet. <laughs> is that in the French song anywhere? A parrot? Yes, yes, no. Because it's about a man who lives alone with his mother and, you know, and dances a in a club. A certain kind of man. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. he's a transvestite. Oh, Jesus. And... <laughs> You know, it's France. This is France. In France. You know, they go, ah. Oh. In France, you have to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're English. Exactly. You're English. Thank God. <laughs> um, <laughs> could you sing a little bit more of that? Because I was stupid. I talked over it. And that was beautiful, you singing no. that a little bit. Oh, please. J'habite tout seul avec maman dans un très vieil appartement, rue Saint-Nazaire. Hey, uh, it's been lovely having you on the show. I've really lovely enjoyed it. I love hearing you sing. As I said, the album is called Little French Songs. Thank you. Uh, and that was beautiful, the performance you were. Thank you so much. I would, uh, it was great to be here, a great audience. Well, thank you. They are a lovely audience. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. You can't, you're flying straight back to France yes, tonight, I believe. I'm flying okay. back to France. Um, I'd love it if you come back and do a bigger number sometime. Yes, I'd love to do that. Okay, thank you for inviting me. That would be lovely. Would be lovely. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, so the lovely Carla Bruni. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, don't go away because after the break I'll be joined by Lee Evans and there'll be music from Primal Scream. See you in a minute.